Rightio guys, so we've got Ash in the booth again. We've got a little um, red CRV here. So, yeah, you're right to start painting, man. Just go over the whole place. Just go everywhere that that light primer is. Right. That's what you want to go over, yeah. So, is there a CRV that he's prepped up the whole thing himself? It was, it was pretty badly faded paint. You can even see there that it was really badly faded. Um, and it was peeling up on the bonnet there too, but I'm gonna put that respirator of mine on. I'm gonna stand back and you can just watch him paint. wasn't that great so we were doing like a couple of initial test mixes and it turns out these colors weren't good so we just threw them into one pot and I said we'll use that as a ground coat just to get coverage that's perfect man
the beak, it's, you can see there how it's actually, it kind of looks covered when you look at it there, but when you see there, it's actually not. It's like that pillar was already red, you know what I mean? So yeah, we still need to dry that down and put a few more coats on. Color in again, the proper color. What pressure are you running out there? 20. 20? Yeah. Yep, perfect. bodgy little bit that we did there too, yeah. Maybe go a bit heavier just to get coverage. Yeah, that's enough. And make sure we get those edges. Remember I pointed out like the back edges of the guard, yep. And then even up on that blend, yeah. Straighten that gun so it's dead straight to the panel like that. Okay. Yeah, and keep going. You're right. Nice long arms on this guy. It's got a good stretch. down here, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's alright. Um, and another thing that I noticed um, when you were painting this door here, what you, so what you did when you painted the guard, I think you stopped here, didn't you? Yeah. And that's good, it's good to overshoot the guts because you don't want to get like a build up on that edge. Yeah. But then you you stopped at the same place here, which I guess is good, but what you need to do more of is sort of like letting go and, and flicking that wrist, you know what I mean? So you're kind of letting go on the edge, because you can see there, can you see how that there's like a wet patch yeah. there? So this kind of color, it's not gonna be a big deal, and, and we'll get it on even, like more even on like the, the last coat. Yeah. But yeah, just, just something to keep an eye on. Just go like, flick that, that wrist out a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know, like I might do it as well, but I did notice that your gun was kind of tilted back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, did, did you feel, did you notice that? I noticed a difference, yeah. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Going on a bit more even. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I saw, yeah, I saw it going down more even. So, yeah. yeah. All right, sweet. Let's get that blower then. Dry it down. All right, let's go with that last coat, man. Um, yeah. Oh, you got no air. Yeah. So the other day, I was um, I was spraying with my DB1, and I cranked the pressure up to 2.2 bar. 2.2. And it went on really nice and flat. Yeah. So try doing that. Okay. Oh, awesome. Get some air. <laughs> yeah. No worries. We just ended up having to give it a bake um, because the base coat was still a little bit sticky because we had to put so many coats on. You know what PPGs like? It doesn't cover. And just go ultra skinny, like as skinny as you can on the first coat. And what I've been doing is just go really skinny but close, so you yep. can't see any base coat. Um, and then just go one coat and then straight back around and put your second coat on straight away. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll get that... That fade out center gun there, player. Put that over in the corner.
too bad for an apprentice, eh? That's looking good. Well, we've got to cut this off at three minutes for a TikTok bit, so... See you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get a few 